Hey, welcome back to the channel, everybody. It is great to see you here. If you're new, my name's Jay Yudlovsky, and on this channel, we talk a lot about DaVinci Resolve, photography, Photoshop, Lightroom, and even some gear stuff. Because who doesn't love some gear stuff, right? So if you're into any of those, consider subscribing to my channel. But in this video, we're talking about how to take your 1080 timeline and export it into 4K, and a reason or two why you might want to do that. So let's jump into the video. All right, so let's get right into it. So there's times when you may have filmed all your footage in 1080, you created your 1080 timeline, edited your whole project, and you wanna get just a little bit better quality out of it than the 1080. So what you can do is export it in 4K. And I'm gonna show you how to do that here in DaVinci Resolve with a video that I recently completed. I thought, hey, let me try export it in 4K and see if it looks any better. And on my MacBook Pro that I have, it's got the retina screen. And when I export it in 1080, it looks okay, looks good, you know, not bad. And then I exported it in 4K and I could see a difference. It was sharper and it did look a little bit clearer. So I'm gonna try uploading that to YouTube, see how that looks. And uh, if it makes sense and it looks that much better, stick with exporting in 4K. But just a warning up front to export in 4K, it does take longer for your project to export. It's not gonna be as quick as if you just rendered out a 1080 video. So it's gonna take more time, so keep that in mind. So let's jump over to DaVinci Resolve. I'm gonna show you how to export your 1080 timeline in 4K. All right, we're here in DaVinci Resolve and I've got a project that I've already created open. And in this project, I've got a 1080 timeline. And just to show you that, I'm gonna to come to my settings here for the project, come up to the timeline resolution and I've got 1920 by 1080. And you can see I'm at 23.976 frames per second. So this is the way I do most of my YouTube videos. And now I'm gonna show you how to export this in 4K. So let's jump over to the deliver tab here. Now there's a few different ways that we can export our video in 4K. The first way that you can do it is come up to your preset options up here. And let's just, for example, say we're doing it for YouTube because that's what I do most of my videos for. So you can come to YouTube, you can click on the YouTube setting. And if you click the little down arrow here, you've got different options. So typically might use 1080p for my 1080 timeline. But if I wanted to export it in 4K, I would click on that little button and I would choose 2160p. And if I look at the settings down here, I see that the resolution is 3840 by 2160 Ultra HD, which is 4K. And the rest of the settings are all set for you. So you can go ahead and use this, export it like that, and try it and see how it works out. See if you like the result that you get for your project. But what I like to do is use custom settings. So I've already got a custom setting called JY YouTube here that I've set up for all my 1080 YouTube videos. And this is how I usually export all my videos. And the thing we want to take a look at here is the resolution, which we see is 1920 by 1080. And the frame rate is 23.976. And the next thing is quality right here. So generally for my 1080 videos, I will restrict this to 30,000 kilobytes per second. And I think that gives me a pretty good quality. So I'm going to go ahead and add this to the render queue, which I've already done. You can see it over here. And we're going to export that so we can compare it to the one we're about to create to export in 4K. So what do I need to do to export this in 4K? So I've got my preset for my 1080. The only two things that I need to change are the resolution. I'm going to come down, click the drop down, and come down to 3840 by 2160 Ultra HD. And that's 4K. And then I want to come down to my quality, and I'm going to restrict this to, I'm going to just say 90,000. And once I've got those set, I'm gonna go ahead and click Add to Render Queue, which I've already done over here. So now I've got both jobs. We can export them both, and then we're gonna compare them in a second on the screen. And hopefully you're gonna be able to see a difference here on YouTube because I know on my MacBook Pro here, I can see a difference. All right, so I've got the two videos up here. The first one is the 1080 video, and then I'll play the 4K one second, and then I'll try and show them side by side on the screen here and see if we can see a difference. So here is the first few seconds of the 1080 clip. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. What if I told you that I've got a tip today that is gonna make it so you never have to save your division. Okay, so there's the 1080 clip, and now let's go to the 4K clip. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. What if I told you that I've got a tip today that is gonna make it so you never have to So I can tell the 4K export does look a little bit sharper. Now I'm gonna just arrange the windows here so we can see them on the screen at the same time. Okay, so here's the two videos side by side. We've got the 1080 one on the left, and on the right, we have the 4K one. And where I can kind of see a difference is just in the sharpness of the overall image. In the 4K export, everything looks a little bit sharper on my face as opposed to the 1080 export. 
it just doesn't look quite as sharp. I wouldn't say it looks bad, but I would say it just doesn't look quite as sharp as the 4K export. So I'm pretty impressed that it is a little bit sharper, even though they both came from a 1080 timeline. And uh, I think I'm gonna try this for my next couple of videos that I create for YouTube here and just see how it looks once I get it uploaded. So I think the reason for creating a 4K export from the 1080 timeline is just to get that little bit of extra sharpness because I've heard that as you upload it to YouTube and YouTube does whatever kind of compression they do to your videos, that you do lose a little bit of quality to it. And I've kind of felt like that where I've uploaded some videos and they seem a little soft. They almost seem a little, not, not blurry, but soft. And I think by using a 4K file here, that's a little bit um, sharper. I think once YouTube does whatever they do to the files, it'll probably look a little bit better at the end of the day. But one thing to note, just looking back in DaVinci Resolve here, is that your file is gonna take longer to export. So this whole video was only uh, a minute and a half long, and it took the 1080 export about four minutes, a little bit over four minutes, 13 seconds, and it took the 4K export about double that, eight minutes and four seconds. So depending on how long your video is, it's definitely gonna take longer to render out that 4K file, but I think you just need to decide, is it gonna be worth it for you to have that little bit of extra quality in your video once it's rendered and exported? So are you guys exporting your 1080 projects in 4K? If you are, I'd love to hear what your experience is with it. So leave a comment down below and uh, let me know. Does it work good for you? Does it not? Do you notice a difference? Is it even worth it? Thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Peace.